It's been 85 years since prohibition ended in the U.S., and most communities in Pennsylvania began allowing alcohol sales, but not every community. One local township is still dry, but Money Editor John Delano reports that may not be the case for long. Middlesex Township is one of the few dry towns that prohibit alcoholic beverages at local restaurants. But voters may change that in the May primary. Let's face it, nobody really wants to go to a restaurant that you can't have a glass of wine or a beer or a cocktail. Mary Lou Tabus originated the petition drive to let voters decide whether to turn Middlesex wet. We needed 486 petition or signatures. We got well over 800, um, 770 that were good. Tabus says she has support from the local developers of Middlesex Crossing off Route 8. They were very supportive. Um, I've had their support um, during this whole process of, of our meetings and everything. Did they come to you or did you go to them? I went to them. I went to them because they are the ones that are doing, changing, changing the township. Over 100 homes and townhouses are going up with nearby retail commercial space, which Tavis hopes attracts a restaurant with alcohol. This is not the first effort to go wet. A popular restaurant, Hoover's, had to close, says Tavis, because it was unable to get the issue on the ballot a few years ago. They were trying to get the liquor license available so that they would save their, their restaurant. Even if voters here in Middlesex Township vote to allow restaurants here to serve wine, beer, or other forms of alcohol, that does not guarantee that they'll get a license to do that. That is governed by some very complicated rules of the Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board. For example, because of its small population, Middlesex is allowed only one liquor license without approval of the supervisors. But it's a start, and supporters predict victory. Very little opposition has been heard from. John Delano, KDKA News.